If I think you wronged one of my homies, I will... Will he perform when he has money right in front of him? Run up on that boy, right in front of him. I just tapped his shoulder so I know that he is touchable. And then I turn him pre-K and eating Lunchables. And as you know, it's unrefundable. When you, you should never feel uncomfortable. Will he perform when he has money right in front of him? Will he perform when... Let's meet the visiting Chicago Bulls. The center, Artis Gilmore. At forward, Dennis Rodman. At guard, Derek Rose. At the other forward, Scotty Pippen. At the other guard, Michael Jordan. The head coach of the visiting team is Billy Donovan. the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Now, guys, at the end of this season, there is a potential opt-out of the collective bargaining agreement. And after seeing star players hold out, some wonder if that will be exercised. Commissioner Silver says we have a common interest to ensure that contracts are honored. Those are issues we can approach collectively. Kevin? As is always the best case. David, thank you. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. Then it's Jordan. Then there's Derek Rose. And it's Gilmore in its center. And for Washington, we've got Antoine Jameson. Monroe is out there with Larry Hughes. Then there's Bull. And it's Butler in at the three. A lot of focus on the guard matchup tonight, Greg. Both these teams rely on their backboards to lead the way for them. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. Now, here is Monroe. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First person. Dennis Rodman picks one up. All the officials are all over that one. Washington the shooting their first free throws here for the night. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid number. First one falls for him. Of course, last season was a tough one for the Wizards. What was the biggest missing ingredient that you saw? 
Well, I think there were so many things going on with the organization, Kevin. First and foremost, you brought in Wes Unseld as your coach. It was a great move, but obviously you have to institute an entirely new system on both ends of the floor. Obviously, they had some key personnel that were hurt during periods of the season. So a lot of new faces across the board for this team. So much went into their struggles. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Jamison with a screen on Rose. Outside for Jamison. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hughes. Makes good on the step back jumper. And hitting the mid range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Here's Gilmore. Got a piece of it. On the wing, Hughes. He's defended by Jordan. And here we go. Jordan going to the hoop. And then slammed in by Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Monroe dishes to Butler. No good on the triple. Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And it's Pippen in the corner. Rodman trying to break free. Pippen misses. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage. That's Outside Butler. Pass to Monroe. Jamison with a screen for Monroe. Outside Jamison. Off target from outside. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Shorten drives in. Tries again. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Yeah, and, and sometimes he comes off as, as maybe being laid back, but Gilmore is a fierce competitor in the post. And it comes out in his rebounding more than anywhere else. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Here's Jordan. Rebound, Washington. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, facing that hostile crowd, uh, they just found a way to kind of tune out the noise and focus on the game. Well, the best way to silence a crowd is with your offensive game. Those fans got quiet in a hurry when the bucket started raining down. Now, here's Rose. Bounce pass from Rodman. Right wing. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Monroe outside. Jamison with a screen on Rose. And Monroe kicks to Jamison. Good on the three-point shot. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now Hughes. Scotty Pippen missing from long range. Hughes against Jordan. Butler from outside. Gilmore grabs the miss. Bulls trail by five. Here's Pippen. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard it down low. So timeout called here, the first for the Wizards. And sometimes on the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Kings check in for Jamison. Bradley Beal comes in for Buck. Gilbert Arenas has checked in for Larry Hughes. And John Wall subbed in for Monroe. And Chicago also making a switch. Good coach has checked in. Now here's Jordan following the miss by John Wall. Rose surveying the D. And Jordan gets it to go. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. 
I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Monroe's checked in for John Wall. Your wizard, Earl Monroe. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And the foul Michael called on Michael Jordan. Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. And he's going up for the LU. An emphatic LU jam. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that LU. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Now, here is Jordan. Against Miami, he was really on his game. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Arenas passes to Monroe. That's in, coming off an assist from Arenas. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Outside Rose. Jordan on the wing. Three-pointers off the mark. King outside. What a play! He simply brings it in at the buzzer. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And so it's the Washington Wizards heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We come back right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at the Wizards' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. And it's Rose with the ball for the Bulls. They trail by seven. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Wizards team. And they were unbeaten against this club last season. Not surprising considering where they both finished in the standings. Well, they're more talented, more accomplished at this point. But you can't rely on that and start taking plays off. You could get surprised. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. We've got Jordan. Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then there's Jarrett Rose. And it's Gilmore. And at the five, roaming the pit. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient, diehard fans in the DMV, it seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. Here's Beal. Some solid defense by Rodman. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. Now here's Arenas. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And he gets it to go. And we know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you played? Uh, that's a great question. I, mean, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Here's Butler following the basket by Michael Jordan. Butler dishes to Arenas. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Arenas has got five points now in the quarter. And you have to honor the three-point shooting of Arenas. A big-time scorer who has shown the consistency from beyond. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And Washington making a change here. Hughes has checked in. Chicago also making some changes. Grant comes in for Dennis Rodman. And it's Harper in for Derrick Rose. And their shots are falling now with more regularity 
than we saw at first. Here's Hughes following the basket by Michael Jordan. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Pass to Butler. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Horace Grant. And Butler, just a natural leader. He's someone whose teammates look up to a polished score who also plays tough defense. Take it. Two shots. And both free throws good for Karan Butler. So it's Chicago now. Six-point game. The drive by Jordan. And they double up Jordan. That's it. And he's seven for twelve now in the game. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Here's Hughes. The Wizards with another miss. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. It's Pippen on the way. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. And it's now only a one-point Washington lead. Outside Arenas. Here's the three. Rebound, Grant for Chicago. They've gotten all of their first six shots to go in here in the second. What a quarter so far. Remaining in the second quarter. Throws it up high. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Three on three. King, the pass to Hughes over Jordan. That one rolling around and rims out. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. The Wizards have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's King, Pippen with the steal. Three on three. Here's Jordan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. As if Jordan were challenging enough to guard. First team but the foul. little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. This is his first free throw of the game. Michael Jordan at the line for two. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Bowl, he's checked in for Washington. Monroe comes in for Gilbert Arenas. Rodman, he's checked in for Chicago. Rose comes in for Harper. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. And so it's Monroe with it, bringing it up for Washington. Butler sets a screen for Monroe. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Now here's Jordan. He's got 16. Basket counts. Pippen's got the lead up to one now for the Bulls. Last outing for Chicago. They won that game against the Heat in FTX Arena. Jamison with a screen on Rose. On Rose. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Washington shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That free throw good from Monroe. Two shots. So Monroe nails both of them. There's 47 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Jordan. From down in the low post, it goes. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. On the wing, it's Larry Hughes. Off target with his three. 
Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. And the Bears check in for the Wizards. Coming on to the floor for your Wizards. Washington trailing. And here is Hughes. Nine point game, his last outing. Jamison with a screen on Jordan. And there's the pass to Bull. It's intercepted. Michael Jordan getting it done for the Bull. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Welcome everyone to halftime. The Chicago Bulls find themselves in a good matchup here at the break. You look at these assist total, Ernie. They're playing as one complete unit. When you see that many assists, that means that everyone's involved. Constant motion, finding free guys. Yeah, the defense looks confused at times. Unpredictability will do that to you. Okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. Specifically, which guys are leading the charge for their teams? Great battle between these two. They take a lot of pride in how they approach the game. And it seems like they're playing with extra enthusiasm tonight. Yeah, those elite matchups, man, they can bring the best out of you. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Michael Jordan in this game. He has been everywhere. There's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. They've got Karan Butler. Hole is out there with Antoine Jameson. Then it's Larry Hughes, and it's Monroe in at the point. And that's the group starting the second half for Wes Unsell Jr. Pass to Hughes. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Jordan, the turnaround jumper. Jordan. Jordan's got 20. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now here's Monroe. He's got eight in transition. Here come the Bulls. And then slammed in by Jordan. Jordan. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And the Wizards with possession. The Bulls getting the bucket. Monroe, the pass to Hughes. Jamison with a screen on Jordan. The shot by Hughes, no good. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Launches it. Rodman trying to break free. They get the rebound, and the Bulls tack on that two more. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box out. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That is his first foul of the game. Washington making some changes. King comes in for Antoine Jameson. And Gilbert Arenas subbed in for Larry Hughes. Joaquin Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. Now here's Monroe. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Carries it from three-point range. Butler's got five now. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Jordan in the corner. Doesn't go either for Jordan. Wizards trail by four. 
Arenas, and it's a two-pointer. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. Pippen's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Jordan. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Jordan's got six in the quarter. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. No good for Marines. Chicago leading by six. Floats it up for Rose. And with the ball out of bounds, Jordan touched it last. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Chicago. On Saturday, they'll head back home to host the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then on Monday, they'll host the Boston Celtics. The Wizards have gone only 1-5 from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. And Monroe kicks it over to Arenas. Trains the three-pointer. Arenas has got his third basket of the night. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. But he just seems to be slacking off a little bit. The time called here, the Bulls decide to talk it over. And T-shirt time. If you want a T-shirt, make some noise. It's time to welcome your Wizards dancer. Check in for Buck. Chicago making a switch here. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. The Bulls third. Yeah, they were incredibly accurate on free throws last season. They are an organization that doesn't neglect an important part of the game. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. And then outside, in the corner, it's Levine. Two minutes. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Pippen finds Rodman, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Dennis Rodman. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. There's the pick. Here's Monroe. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Deal with it. He's picked up by Pippen. It's deflected. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. One thirty-three left in the third quarter. Tires from the corner, and it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Washington's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Beal gets a wide open look. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. The Bulls have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Here's Pippen. The shot's good. Rodman making the play. Rodman's got four assists in the game. Pippen against Beal. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Wizards making a switch here. Jamison's checked in. Number three, Levine drills the three-pointer. Levine's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, Zach Levine is shot ready, okay? So in the catch-and-shoot game, hands are up. I'm ready to catch and fire. Chicago making some changes. Grant, he's checked in for Rodman. Jordan comes in for Levine, and it's Rose in for B.J. Armstrong. Now here's Arenas. Eight points for him. Jamison with a screen for Arenas. Clock at four. Misses the three. The Bulls leading by four. Here's Rose, and the dunk by Rose. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession on a poor shot. Here's Arenas. Oh, and the jam by Arenas. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement. Hey, listen, we're not here to back down for you guys. 
And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's Chicago. They're up by four. They'll be back shortly, live from Washington. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. Guys, good job hitting ahead. That means we're running, which is good, okay? We've got to pay attention right now, okay, and what we're doing coming out of timeouts. Pushing the action, fast pairs. Billy Donovan wants to keep them rolling it out. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a good job in transition. They just need to stay focused and be efficient. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for Chicago to start the fourth. We've got Derek Rhodes. Our test is out there with Rodman. It's Michael Jordan, and it's Gilmore in at the five down low. To the middle. Top of the key. And the Bulls tack on two more. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. A coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. First, yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength shooting to convert Chicago. through contact. Michael let's see what Jordan. he can do there at the line. One shot. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Chicago. They're looking to attack and transition every time down the floor, just wearing the defense thin at this point. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity forcing turnovers, coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Bowles setting the pick for Monroe. It's blocked. Now here's Rose to the inside. Stolen by Jamison. Here's Monroe. Finished off the break. The shake and bake moves of Earl the Pearl. I mean, a phenomenal ball handler who just kills you with that change of pace. Rose finds Pippen. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. On the money from 12 feet away. Pippen's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. Washington calls timeout. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Boy, he's been relentless, and to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Sideline reporter David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. During that break, coach Wes Unsell Jr. had some advice for the team. He said, this is where we make our move. This game's going to come down to big plays. Whichever team makes them is going to come out of here with the win. Kevin, we know what side he's on. Thank you, David. with a screen on Rose. Shoots from the high post. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. Monroe's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> you know what you get with Monroe? He's the ultimate playground player. I mean, despite the sizzle, though, he's about as consistent as they get. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking. He's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Here's Monroe. And he lays it straight in. Yeah, I just love how alert Hughes is. That's Super it. talented guy who knows when one of his guys is open. Outside Levine. A three. No good. And Washington the other way now. There's the triple. 
Rodman grabs the rebound. Rodman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Players, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. At the line for the Bulls. Artis Gilmore. Two shots. First one at the line is good. That one is no good. Wizards trail by six. Monroe outside. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. 1.56 left to play in the final quarter. Jamison with a screen on the beam. Driving in. Man, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And what the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. But the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're up by four. A minute 50 left in the game. And the Bulls making a change here. Jordan's checked in. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. No good that time. Jamison with the defensive effort. Hughes, the best in Monroe. Hughes against Pippen. Outside Butler. That's the free fly. Gilmore grabs the miss. And it's Rose with the ball for Chicago. They lead by four. The shot's good. The vision by Rose, right? Hits the open man. He's creating for others. And this guy is so tough to deal with. Rose against Monroe. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Monroe's got eight here in the quarter. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Washington's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Chicago with the rebound. And now they decide to foul intention. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Four seconds left to play here in the fourth. There's Rose with the three. And it's there good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Rose has got the lead up to seven now for Chicago. Washington calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That's what you take. And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. They'll try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick move. There's 39 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Butler from outside. Money! And now they trail by just four. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap. Oh, yeah. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Derek Rose. Taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. Well, an interesting thing about Derrick Rose, right? Over his career, he's been an up-and-down jump shooter, but he's been remarkably consistent from the free-throw line. Second one is good. They're both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. 
Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Here's Bull. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal yeah, the defender all over. First team foul. At the line for the Wizards. Taking two shots. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. That brings them within five. And an intentional foul right there. Larry Hughes. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Michael Jordan. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. 24 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Monroe. Good! And now they trail by just four. How about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Now the Bulls with it, and now they foul and stop the clock. Larry, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for Chicago. Michael Jordan at the line for two. First one drops, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Time called here. Wizards decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. DC family, your wizard dancer. Here's Hughes. Bull kicks to Monroe. Butler from outside. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Second personal foul. At the line for the Bulls. Artis Gilmore. Two shots. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game.
King outside, kicks the bowl from past the arc. He's off on that one. So the Bulls win it. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Michael Jordan.